Hello everybody and welcome to Ian's Brick. So as you can see behind me I've got a Lego haul. It's quite a small Lego haul. I do apologise. I've not been spending a great deal of money on Lego over the past couple of weeks. There have just not been that many great deals around but when there have been some deals I've been obviously snapping them up as you can see. So we've got one big box here, massive box here from Lego. These are all the Lego sale items I managed to get. We've also got something from Toys R Us uh, which uh, is now available again in the UK but only online. I'll talk more about that later. And we also have something from Amazon as well. So I think we'll start on the big box first of all from lego.com. Right so we've just got these tabs to peel off here. Okay so we've got quite a few sets in here so I want to start from the first item here and we have this set. So this is 40658, the Millennium Falcon Holiday Diorama. This is a set that sort of was on the retirement list for 2023, but it's literally only just been confirmed fairly recently by lego.com when they sort of put the uh, last chance to buy. Uh, quite a nice set, it's obviously unusual, it's got a very short shelf life, this one. Normal recommended retail price for this uh, was £25.99 here in the UK, but uh, during the Lego sale, which started on the, uh, I think it was either Christmas Day or Boxing Day, the 26th of December, and these were reduced by 30%. So the buy-in price for these, I've got my notes here, uh, was £18.19. Um, now, you could order five of these online, uh, so I did that. I actually literally went and got the maximum that I could, because... Um, I think a lot of people have got these, they've probably been over hoarded, but again, such a short shelf life on this particular set, I think it was just a good opportunity to stock up on these. Um, I haven't really had the opportunity to go to the Lego store uh, in the past few days, so uh, maybe they've still got some in the Lego store, but for now I've used my maximum and got all five. So five of those, 30% uh, off. Uh, and we also have this set here, and this is something I hadn't actually bought, which is 40571, the Wintertime Polar Bears. Uh, this has actually been reduced in a few places here in the UK. I think maybe Argos or Asda or somewhere like that had them, but I, I couldn't get any um, at the discounted prices. Uh, these are normally 11.99 here in the UK, um, and uh, the 30% off for this particular set made it £8.39. Quite a nice little buy-in price. Uh, there were some penguins, uh, Christmas penguins, that they had on sale uh, last year, um, which had, again, quite a short shelf life, and they're doing really, really well on the secondary market. So I'm not saying these are going to increase vastly in, in, in uh, value, but I think they're quite cute, they're quite nice, quite a small item. This is the kind of thing that normally sells reasonably well at brick festivals and things like that. So I got myself not only one, but I got myself two of those. I could get five, but I just I was trying to keep my order below a certain amount of money. I wasn't trying to overspend because I've spent quite a lot, as you know, over the past couple of months. Uh, the next set that I got is this one here, uh, 40553. This is the uh, Brickheads uh, Toy Story Woody and Bo Peep. So the recommended retail price for this set was £17.99 uh, and uh, the 30% off for this one as well and this was made at £12.59. So £12.59 for a double Brickheads is a very, very good price, I think. Um, this particular set, I think, had pretty much used my um, you ordered my limits on lego.com. Lego.com have very, very strict limits, and I think you could have you could order five of these. And I'd ordered my five over the year, uh, but when they have a sale, it kind of resets. When they have a reset of their price, it resets the sales limits again. So I was able to buy more of these. So I think I got myself not only the one there, as you can see, uh, we have number two, which is that one there. And buried right down here, oh, if I can get it, is this one here. So, three of those. Uh, we got a couple of larger sets as well. And I got myself this set here. Uh, this is the Apollo 11, uh, this is the NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander set 10266. Nice little set this, space sets do quite well once they retire. This has been on shelves for quite a while though, so it might take a couple of years to start appreciating in value to a reasonable amount. Recommended retail price for these is 89.99 in the UK, so quite an expensive set I think. Um, but 30% off again for this set, everything was 30% off, uh, and this uh, made this £62.99. So I think for £63, I think that's a very, very good price. Uh, so one of those there, and then the final set that we got, which is right at the bottom of this big box, 
is this set here one of the Chinese New Year sets um, and this is set number 80111 the Lunar New Year Parade uh, like the uh, Apollo 11 set this was um, 90 pounds oh look we've got a little bit of a hole can you see that oh look at that we've got a dent in the top of the box that's a slight shame but never mind uh, nothing really I can do about that now uh, I think these have sold out on lego.com but yeah 89.99 recommended retail price 30% uh, off which made it 62 pounds 99 now quite a few sets as you can see for this big order I think that's pretty much everything nice empty box um, however as you know me I'm always quite I always get quite a lot of VIP points there'd been a double VIP points weekend in the run-up to Christmas I can't remember when it was now sometime in early December and so I'd literally just got over 8,000 points which in the UK means I can get 50 pounds off my order so I use that 50 pounds so this total order if I'd have Use the sale prices would have been 271.48, but I used 50 pounds worth of my insider or VIP points, and that made the whole order 221.48. So that was a really, really good um, price for all of this stuff here. It basically made the the two larger sets that reduced those to around about 51 pounds 50. Um, the uh, dioramas, the Star Wars dioramas, that reduced those prices to around about just under £15 each. The bears, which are at the back here, um, they reduced the price of these ones down to about £6.70. And we have the Woody and Bo Peep. And with that extra £50 off, or the percentage of £50 off, that made the uh, Woody and Bo Peep just over, just over £10, about £10.20, something like that. So very, very good prices on sets which are all retiring. So I thought it was an, all, an excellent opportunity to sort of stack up on these uh, sets. As I say, I could have bought a lot more of these different sets. I mean, I only got one each of these, but I bought a few of these. I've got a couple of these already. So I didn't want to buy too many. I've kind of spent a lot of money over the past few months. I didn't want to overspend. I'll always say when you're buying Lego for Lego investing, don't get yourself into debt over it because it's not worth it. You know, buy what you can, which is fine. And I think I wanted, didn't want to go too much over £200. So 221 I think, is a good buying price for all of these rather nice sets that are all retiring. So that was the first uh, big order there. So we have next this order and this is from um, Toys R Us. So Toys R Us, uh, obviously as most people will probably know, went bankrupt a few years ago now. I think it was worldwide, although I do know that I think there are still some stores in Canada for whatever reason. They started um, coming back here in the UK around right about a year ago, uh, maybe a little bit longer, and they have only have an online presence, so they don't have any physical stores as, as I'm aware at the moment. The only thing is, is the name of Toys R Us is, is all that links it to the old Toys R Us stores. Apparently there's no links at all to the original sort of Toys R Us stores and um, the business that they had years ago. It's a completely different organisation. They literally, whoever own this now have bought the rights to the, the name of Toys R Us and are using that but they do occasionally have some very very good deals and as you can see this particular order has been delivered in an actual Lego box which I always like to see we've got a bit of a scuffing on the corner there so I'm hoping the boxes inside are okay um, but they did have some very good deals now unfortunately with Toys R Us a lot of the deals they advertise, by the time you get to them, they literally only have a few in stock. And quite often, I've tried to order things before from them, um, and um, there's just no stock. You try and go to it, so they're all fantastic offers, but as soon as you get to it, it's sold out. So I did actually manage to place this order, and it came, which I was quite surprised. It was a while ago I placed this, sometime at the beginning of the month. So we've got this set here. And we have got a bit of damage in this corner here, which is fine, because I'm probably going to build one of these. And this is set number 43212. And this is the Disney 100 train. This is a 4 plus set, but don't let that put you off. We get six rather nice minifigures, and I think some of those are exclusives as well. Um, um, it's a 4 plus set, so you tend to find a lot of the pieces are larger, but there are no stickers in sets like this, so 4 plus sets. So yeah, you sort of do get these sort of big clunky um, sort of pieces here for the train. Uh, but yeah, nice little set this. Uh, so this normally recommended retail price for this set is £35 in the UK. Now, throughout most of the year, this has been available on Amazon, and I've bought these in the past at um, about £22, £23, which I thought was a good price. 
Toys R Us, their price for these was £30. They had them on reduced but 50% off, which made them £15. But on top of that, you could, uh, with any order that you placed, um, I think it may be even still going on now, they may have a different code, but you put in an extra code and you got another 10% off, which made my buy-in price for these £13.50 each for a £35 set that's well over 60% off. Um, the set itself is okay. I said I bought a couple of these recently. It was originally on the retirement list for 2023, but um, during the summer it was taken off the retirement list, so I thought well, I'm going to be hanging on to these for a while. Now, these are the kind of things that will probably sell quite quickly, quite early. I've got some brick festivals or some, some Lego fairs coming up uh, in the new year, um, look, well, later on in the spring actually, but uh, these are the kind of things I'm probably going to take to, the, to those festivals. I normally only take lots of retired stuff, but I want to take some stuff as well, which I can still sell on at a bit of a discount, but, uh, but pass on a lot of these discounts that I've got to, to other people as well. Uh, the minifigures, as I say, are really, really Really good you've got an exclusive mickey and possibly mini as well i know with the little train uniform i think that's possibly exclusive um so i'll probably build this one as i say because we've got a little bit of a scuff in the corner although it's not too bad uh but we got managed to get four of these i can't remember how many i could have ordered but um yeah i, I think i probably could have ordered more if i wanted but i thought i thought four was enough i'd already got a few of these stacked in my storage uh in my attic so yeah four of these so all the rest of the box has a fine little bit of a scuff in there in the corner but it's really negligible and i think for a set like that it's not going to matter too much so uh yeah that's uh, one of the first things i bought from toys r us i would definitely use them again uh they took a little while to be delivered i know some people do have issues with them um, they place orders and sometimes they get cancelled because i think some of the stock levels are quite low they don't have vast numbers of stock so you tend to find that occasionally set um orders will be uh, cancelled which is slightly annoying but uh, I think with something like Toys R Us it's a relatively sort of newish company again uh, so give them a chance but yeah well if you can get stuff at that kind of discount then I'm all in for, for trying to uh, get some more of those kind of discounts so we have a final box here which as you can see I've already opened this is from Amazon. So Amazon had a really, really good deal for this. They've not had many great deals over December, but this was one of them. Uh, and it was for these sets here. So these are some Speed Champion sets, uh, 76908, the Lamborghini Countach, or Countach, I don't know how that's pronounced. Uh, this is a set that I've got and built. Really nice little set, this. Recommended retail price in the UK is £20. This isn't retiring at the end of 2023, so I'll have to hang on to these a little bit longer, but the buy-in price for these was £12 each, which is a very good discount on its own, but they also had a special offer as if you ordered four of something, uh, you you got an extra 5% off. So it made the buy-in price for this set, uh, which I say is normally £20, and they may be going up in price in the summer. I know I know the newer speed champions have probably got a much higher price for next year. They may be sort of 20 Two, twenty-three, twenty, maybe even twenty-five pounds. So these will start going up in value potentially. Um, but uh, yeah, so that made my buying price with another five percent off. It made it uh, eleven pound forty. So eleven pound forty for this set is pretty good. As I, say, I had to order four of them, unfortunately, um, the website only allowed me to order three of the this particular item. Uh, that happens sometimes with Amazon. They just have lower limits just because they don't want people. Uh, like me, buying loads and loads of sets. So the fourth set that I bought um, was this one here. Another set that's not retiring at the end of the year. Uh, it's the uh, Lotus Evia. Um, it's set number 76907. Uh, again, this was on the retirement list and they took it off the retirement list for 2023, but this was 15 pounds with 5% with off. So it made it 14 pounds 25. Again, for a 20 pound set, not bad. Not the greatest discount, but I just wanted something else to be able to get those ones there. Um, so that is pretty much it. Let me just have a bit of a reorganize behind me. There we have it then, that's everything uh, in uh, in today's haul. It's not as, not as large as some of the hauls I've done recently, but I wanted to sort of get out of the way all of the sets I've been buying up, up until the end of 2023, and obviously we'll start afresh in 2024. I'm not expecting many hauls to start off with, maybe within January, just because I don't think there's A, going to be many deals around, B, obviously um, a lot of the, uh, the retirement lists aren't 100% accurate uh, early on in the year as well, and also I probably just need to save a little bit of money uh, for, for sort of later 
later on in the year when there are better deals. But I think there's a really good uh, order that I placed uh, um, for, for this particular uh, haul. Uh, the total that I spent here uh, with all the discounts and, and all the money off and the, the insider points and things like that, £323.89 for everything that you can see behind me. If I'd have paid recommended retail price for every single one of these sets, it would have cost me £607.80. So as you can see, a really big saving sort of overall I think I've got around about 46 47 percent off sort of as a, an overall average uh, of all the sets so I think some really really good sets to get obviously not everything's retiring uh, but a lot of stuff is no gifts with purchase either from lego.com slightly disappointing that the uh, gifts with purchase ended on Christmas Eve here in the UK so when ordering on on the 26th of December Boxing Day there were no uh, no gifts with purchase which is why again I use my VIP or insider points to uh, reduce the cost of those sale items as well but I think I've done pretty well most of the boxes are pretty okay a little bit of a gash in the uh, Luna Parade set and a couple of little corners nicked but that's nothing that's actually not too bad so um, uh, yeah really really pleased with this haul so that's it this is the last haul of 2023 there will be hauls in 2024 I'm sure of it uh, keep an eye out for those and I will be doing other videos as well so keep an eye out for those but uh, that's it for now thank you very much for watching have a very happy new year if you don't see any more videos until the new year uh, thank you very much for all the people that watched all my videos throughout 2023 and before that as much much appreciated all the comments that I get, all the subscribers that I've had, my subscribers have increased a lot this year, so thank you to everybody that has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, then please do. It is free to do. Just uh, go on to and click the subscribe button. That would be very, very much appreciated. Uh, have a happy new year. Until uh, next year, we'll see you then. Take care for now. Bye.